Yay! It's Kay's little squeaky. Yeah, that looks so bright. Do you like her PJs? Here's your watermelon. It's a little right. So yeah, as you guys know, I'm already back in London. I spent the past month editing all my Japan vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And... I forgot what to say. Yeah, Japan was a lot of fun, but of course, there are also a few yeah, moments. What the heck is here? Yeah? You know what I mean. I really mean, need to fix this chair. The first downside to my trip is insects. I had never seen a cockroach before until I got to Japan. And the way they move is like really I'm really bad at describing things. If I remember correctly, my friend caught six of them and Will found one of them in his luggage. There was one night where the cockroach was just chilling on the stairs and I really wanted to go downstairs to the bathroom instead of going downstairs. I took a picture of it and ran back into my room. And of course, the next morning it was gone. I've learned that cockroaches are attracted to those tatami mats in one of the rooms at our Airbnb. There's a tatami mat. The owner gave us this cockroach spray. Yeah, they already know there's cockroaches in there. I kind of wish they mentioned it. Hi. Speaking of bugs, there were so many ants downstairs. I guess they crawled into the little gap things on the walls and stuff. We'd see them crawl on the kitchen table and near our shoes. Right before we go out, I told my trainers and stuff. Shaking and making sure all the ants are not in my shoes. That was fun. And while we were in Yoyogi Park, I couldn't sit down on the picnic mat thing for too long because the ants there were huge. And I saw there's like four of them clumped up together like a bull of ants. Dear Lord. And then I saw them crawl over my bag. So I picked it up and tried shaking it and shit. I need it, bugs. Okay, next one. Lack of bins. For me, that's a really big deal. Especially here in the UK, there's always bins outside so you can just throw your trash away. Most of the time, I had to carry trash back home. And I don't really like carrying it around with me for the whole day. Actually, I don't know why they really have bins. I think this next one bothers me the most. Those of you who've watched me for a long time know that I have a breathing problem. When I'm around people who smoke, or if I inhale perfume or deodorant or um, incense. Basically, I feel very suffocated at times. I end up coughing a lot. In Japan, a lot of people smoke. I've never come across a restaurant here where people smoke indoors. I think there's only two restaurants that um, people were smoking in. One of them, there was this table beside us and then there was this group of guys wearing suits and they were all smoking. My friends were really worried about me and then they wanted to take me outside but I didn't want to ruin everyone's time. I just wanted everyone to enjoy their food. So yeah, I was surprised by the guys smoking inside the restaurants. But it's not only that. I've seen smokers inside non-smoking areas too. Like people get in trouble for doing that. Again, like the cockroach thing, I have never felt an earthquake before until I got to Japan. While I was there, there was this mini earthquake, but because it's my first time experiencing something like that, I'm sitting at the edge of my bed like... On the day we went to the Edo Tokyo Museum, that morning, I received a strange email. Basically, there's this guy, every four minutes, I get another email from him. He either types really fast, or he prepared all this and just copied and pasted the whole thing. When I received the third or fourth email, I called Will over. His bedroom is opposite my bedroom. So I was like, Will, come read this. As he was reading, another one popped up. And then another one popped up. He sent 12 emails within an hour. And then he suddenly stopped. And then Will was like, ah. That's a nice guy. It's actually the first time I've heard of the term nice guy. It's really confusing because he was praising me and insulting me at the same time. I feel like he doesn't know how to speak to women or people in general. It's like he's trying to manipulate me in some way. 
few weeks before I went to Japan, there was this girl who claimed to be my fan. She sent me a message on Facebook saying that she works in this restaurant in Shinjuku. She invited my friends and I to her restaurant and she said she made a reservation for all of us. We were on our way there. It takes a while to reach the train station so I ended up paying for a taxi. So I texted her saying we're on our way. Then I realized none of my messages are getting to her. I thought maybe my Wi-Fi is not working so I tried messaging other people and it worked. That's when I realized she blocked me. I guess you could say I got scared up. Maybe she's like a troll or a hater who just wants to mess with me. I was trying to stay calm that day but <coughs> deep down <laughs> I was really frustrated. And I was really embarrassed in front of my friends. I keep asking myself, why is this happening to me? Then luckily my boyfriend was there to show us around Shinjuku. We ended up having a nice meal. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys that I have a boyfriend now. Surprise! This is not the way I wanted my parents to find out. Ah well.